Hey everyone, it's Loopsy Lola here. I'm going to do a video tutorial today of the crocheted 2020 toilet paper ornaments. Uh, I can usually get these done in about 15 minutes crocheting and then you just have to add the little, you know, embellishments. But I thought this was a good tutorial to do, especially for those that don't really know what to get people and they're great last minute gifts. So make sure you subscribe down below and that way you are getting all my videos as they come out. Like the video, share it with your friends, and let's get started. Let's make some toilet paper. Okay, so we're gonna use a G hook. Grab that, and then your brown, whatever one you have on hand, you know, if you have one on hand, but I'm using Cafe Latte um, Red Heart Super Saver. <clears throat> you're going to leave a fairly long tail just because this is going to turn into your loop for your ornament holder, your toilet paper roll holder. So once you have a long tail, you're just going to slip knot like so. Insert hook and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So we're gonna skip this first one and go into the second one with a single, oh, my yarn split, single crochet. We're gonna single crochet all the way across. Two three, four, five. So all your rows are gonna have five single crochets in them. We're not gonna chain, we're just gonna turn our work and we're gonna work right back into that single crochet we just made and go all the way across with another five single crochets. So we're at the end of row two now. Like I said, we're just gonna turn our work. Don't chain, just go right back into that single crochet you made. The reason I'm not chaining one is because it keeps the edges cleaner for this. So you're not gonna have to go back through and like add a single crochet border or anything and it just makes it look a lot nicer and it kind of keeps them a little closer together. So this is the third row. We're gonna do five rows with this brown color before we switch to white. I like making these. They're really quick to make. Like I said, once I got it done or down, um, I was able to get one crocheted in about 15 minutes. And they make really good gifts for people you don't know what to buy for or even ones that you do. I'm going to be giving them out to family as well, along with some, you know, their other gifts, but everybody needs a 2020 toilet paper ornament, I think. Now that I'm at the end of the fifth row with the brown, I'm going to magic knot onto the white. That's just purple personal preference because I don't like weaving in ends. And with this, it's going to be covered anyways once you roll up your work. So there's no reason to make it more difficult than it has to be. To magic knot, you just take, I snipped my brown off, left a little tail. I'm going to take the white and make a loop around the brown like so. And just do a knot onto the brown. Pull it tight. Then I'm going to take the end of this brown that I just cut off from the skein wrap it around the white down below and knot it on just like we did the other one sorry then i'm going to take the white and the brown that's still attached to the work and pull them together 
and bringing them together to make the big knot. And now you got a magic knot. And what we do is we take our scissors now and we cut that without cutting my finger. Cut it. And there we go. It's like magic. So I'm going to go back to my work, turn it, go right back into that single crochet we just made on the last row and start crocheting again. From the time that I attach my work, I'm sorry, from the time that I attach the white, I do 31 more rows. So I say, you know, do 31 rows of the white, but obviously the color changes an instant and it doesn't have to be. It doesn't really matter where it happens because it's rolled up and you'll never be able to tell. So now I'm on to the second row since I've attached the white. And as you can see, we're getting into the white. And I'm going to continue on for, well, 31 minus 2. Huh? 28 more rows here now that I just started this one. And it sounds like a lot but of rows, but like I said, it goes fast. And as you can see, it's going fast. It's just five single crochets in each row. All right, so I will meet you back here after I do the rest of my 31 rows of this color. And we'll go on from there and I'll show you how to finish up your little toilet paper rolls. Okay, so I have done my 31 rows after I attached the white and I cut my yarn down here. So when it's at 31 rows, it's about seven and a half inches, right around there. It doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be exact. I mean, you don't wanna go much shorter than that, but I've found that that's about the sweet spot without you know being, you don't have to use that much. So since I, cut my yarn I'm just going to finish this off with a simple chain and pull the yarn all the way through the tail doesn't have to be that long I'm only going to weave in like a row or two or a line or two I'll do that right now I did plug in my hot glue gun so that's ready when we're ready but I'm just going to weave this little tail in and like I said we don't have to go um, oops, sorry for the focus there. We don't have to make it super difficult, our weaving. I know weaving is all our favorite. <laughs> I actually, I do, I have seen some people that say they enjoy it, but for the most part, not many people do. Oops, that thing came off. And I will just take this back through one more time but especially with this being an ornament I mean it's not really going to get it's not like a blanket or a scarf or anything where it's getting used constantly and kind of beat around you trim your end all right now with this part I'm just going to loop it back to this this section, loop it around like so, kind of like we magic knot, like we're attaching it, a magic knot, but loop it around itself basically. Pull tight, then I slide it down to the seam, and then I'm just going to do it like I'm tying my shoe start tying my shoe just for a little added security again i mean this is going to be hanging on a tree it's not going to get much wear and tear just trim that down a little bit so it's not poking out of the side and now we're ready to start rolling it and put our hot glue on so i'm going to make sure this is tucked in at the top like so so that's getting curled in. And we'll start rolling it down. Just kind of 
pull it and make sure it's getting tight and not getting, you know, you're keeping the roll tight. You don't want loose TP. <laughs> and I kind of push in the ends as I'm rolling just so they don't get that little effect they sometimes do getting squished out of the tube. Okay, keep rolling. We're almost to the end, but look at that. Like that made a nice couple rolls. So it looks like you got a full roll of toilet paper, which is always a good thing. Now I'm content with that. I can write 2020 down here in the puffy paint. So I think that's about good for where I'm going to, you know, have my hot glue hold it. So I'm just going to roll this up, unroll it, I should say. I'm going to hold it like so and kind of unroll it. Then I'm going to bring in my hot glue gun. Hold on. Bring it around my camera. I'm going to bring in my hot glue gun and just push, <laughs> push, push the button and put three little rolls, rows of hot glue and roll it down to catch. There. I just pushed it like that and we're good. It's not coming out the back. I didn't, you know, push that hard. I didn't put that much glue there. In a couple seconds, that's gonna be completely set. Like magic. All right, next. I'm gonna open my puffy paint. I got this at Walmart for a dollar eight, I think. So good investment. Shake it up a little bit. I'm gonna dab the end here. So as you can see, it gets that on it. And I obviously want this to be a clean 2020, as clean as I can make it. And I've never done it on camera, so this should be fun. All right. Give me a second, but yeah, so I honestly practiced on a piece of paper quite a bit before I got, hold on, before I got brave enough to put it on my work. There we go. I just guess I just had to get a glob started there. See, super glad that I decided to go back to the paper before squeezing that hard. All right. I think we're ready. Oh, I'm scared. Now this puffy paint, you have to dry it for four hours, it says. So I just let it sit overnight last night. It's gonna go in here and thicken that too up a little bit. Hopefully I don't screw the whole thing up. I tend to do that. I was making these originally, I was making them really wide and I was crocheting the numbers on, but I just, I didn't like that look. I like these small ones. All right. Success. I don't think I messed it up too horribly. <laughs> but here is your cute little 2020 crocheted toilet paper ornament. All right. Thanks for watching my tutorial on how to make the 2020 toilet paper uh, crocheted ornaments. I I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're gonna make a bunch of these and have fun making them. And I hope the people that get them love them. I'm sure they will. I've gotten great responses from them so far. So if you like this video, make sure you like it down below. Subscribe to my channel so you're always getting my newest content. And I look forward to seeing you back here soon on Loopsy Lola.